All right, people, what's going on? All right, I made some changes here um, from my last video. Um, I took a couple items that I picked up, got some really good blood, ge uh, blood gems from them, and I put them on my weapons here. I think on the, the Holy Blade here, I have a plus 12 attack, you know, to beasts. And I think on the uh, the Blades of Mercy here, I got the, uh, I got like a poison effect on them, so. So, anytime I slash at somebody multiple times, I haven't tested it yet, but it should be poisoning people. There we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Caught me. <laughs> I was hearing it. That's why I stopped talking. I was like, where the hell is that coming from? All right, all right let me test out this poison. Because I killed the other woman that was in here before I started the video. And uh, the Holy Blade did like tons of damage on them, so. See this poison effect. Okay, I must must gotta hit people mul uh, multiple times. All right, so let me switch back to that. Cause I did upgrade both of the weapons one more time too. So I might have to switch them around. I might have to uh, keep the Holy Blade what I had on it before, and uh, put the plus twelve uh, you know beast attack on the uh, on the Blades of Mercy. Because if the poison damage, you know, is something where I gotta hit somebody like 30 times, that might not be, you know, beneficial. Might take too long to do, so I might have to take that off. My plan was to. Whoa, 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 where am I? You know, I told you before, I don't want your cookies. But, um. But if it's something that takes like 30 hits to do, then it's, you know, not really gonna be worth it. I mean, my, my idea was to save it for bosses. You know, do something where I got to attack a boss from behind or something like that and get a bunch of, you know, slashes on them. That'll do tons of attack, you know, attack damage and then have the poison for the lingering damage, but... Damn. Oh, okay, I should heal myself before I get killed. And I know, I think I'm going the wrong way here. Because I, I was trying to work my way back to, uh... Damn, you can't just die, like, you know... Oh, but yeah, I think I'm going the wrong way. I was trying to work my way back to that boss fight, but now that I'm here, how do I get that right there? If I remember right, was it you? Yeah, it was you. I remember you jumped up from my right last time I was in here, and had some dogs in front of me. Come on, where y'all at? There you go. They're giving me a bunch of useless items I can't use. How do I get to the second floor of the barn? Get that item up there. Because this takes me all the way up there, and I don't think that's, uh... That's not... That takes me past where I want to go. And right, let me turn around. Maybe there's a way to get behind here. Yep. Yes, there is. I just don't be, you know, don't be paying attention. Some shit. Don't be paying attention when I be going through here, not uh, going through this game. Oh dear God, I can't talk today. It's like it always takes me like five or ten minutes to get in the mood of not thinking about what I'm saying when I'm doing these, and then I'll just talk and ramble on and be perfectly fine. But until that, be stumbling over words and shit. Uh, is that a wheelchair guy? Is that a wheelchair guy? What is that? Damn. All right, come on, waste your second shot. Come on. Come on, pull the trigger. Don't be scared. Busy body. All right, quick silver bullets. Don't need those. Depth Blood Gem, and what are you? Oh, Mad Men's Knowledge that I keep getting that I don't ever use. I just really use it for items. <laughs> like, I had 13 uh, Insight uh, before I started the video, and I brought uh, some more Fire Paper, because that shit seems, like, fucking rare to find. But I bought, like, five of those, and uh, something else I bought my Insight, so... I 
I think, wait a minute, am I going the right way? Whoa! Damn! Caught my, almost caught me. I'm glad I was quick with that dodge button. Alright, I think I'm going the right way, because I remember this going all the way around and going to the area with tons of dogs and all that stuff. I think it was, you know, I could have took both ways to get there. If I remember right, because I opened up the shortcut, so... We might just try to jump down and run all the way there. Alright, let me, um... Oh, since he's right here. Alright. I just gotta make it to the boss area. Excuse me. Uh, shouldn't have did that. That cost stamina. Right, let me walk a little bit, gain some more back. Alright, now we good. Let me in. Let me in. Get out of the way. Alright, if I remember right, they stop right there. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> let's see if we can... Oh, that's some bullshit. Glad that didn't hurt me, though. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I'm assuming by this being an easier boss fight, it, you have to, like kill one before it revives the other, I don't know. And try not to get hit. So that's what I'm assuming is gonna happen, so let's try the blades of shit, I did not mean to do that. That's what I wanted to do. Alright, let me get my health back. Damn, did I really just waste two fucking vials for no reason when I only meant to do one? Do I have to kill this first one before the uh, lady shows up? Alright. At least now I can test out this... Ah, uh... oh, shit. Really? Just had to run out on the last hit. I can test out this poison damage with this. Alright, come on. Where you at? There you go. The part that gets me is... um. Is uh when she starts uh <clears throat> throwing that binding magic on your ass. All right, over here. I, I'm gonna try to kill her real quick. That's why I'm going for a lot of m minor hits. Cause with this, the uh, the holy blade is like it takes slow to swing, or well, takes time to swing, not takes slow to swing. What the hell am I talking about? Well, whereas this, I can. You know, just wail into somebody. And I'm hoping that the poison damage that I put on it. There she go over there. Will take effect, but I don't see no milder, uh, no meter building up, so. I don't know. Maybe she's immune to poison, or maybe it just doesn't work for her. I might have to switch back to the Holy Blade, because I did upgrade it, so. I mean, it should do more damage than what it was doing before. Yep, yeah, it is. Yeah, let me just stick with this. Alright. How come she ain't taking no damage no more? Alright, there she go. Shit. They're right there. Damn it, what not I can do about that? All right, let me do this. Go back up here. You know, I have the power. There we go. Now I'm going to hit you do tons more. And while she's respawning, let me weaken these guys. All right, I didn't see where she spawned in, but let me just check these corners. Yep, there she go. How come she ain't taking no damage though? Maybe I'll maybe I'm not getting to her quick enough. Yup, yeah, that must be I must gotta get to her quick enough. Alright, one's down, so now. Wait, was that one? Yup. Oh that was wait, was it two of them? 
I thought I was only fighting one. Uh, okay, cool. That shit. <laughs> it makes that fight easy as hell. I thought it was um. Because I thought that, that, all right, I killed the first one, right? And then the second one would pop up, and then she would heal the the second one as I'm doing it, you know? To, to kind of make it harder. Kind of like what happened last time, right? But <laughs> I don't remember fighting the second one. It was like, all right, I took down the health of the first one, and then it was like, okay, kill that one, and then got two hits on the second one. It's it like, when did the second one come out in, you know, with a whole bar of energy? I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm not going to question it. Hey, look, I beat it. You know, it is what it is. Uh, no, we ain't returning back. Fuck that. We're going balls deep in this cave. Let's see what's down here. Or not cave, but Undercroft. Or whatever this place is called. And who are you? Damn. All those books didn't save you, huh? Prayer waits ahead, okay? Damn. They went to work on you, man. Hey, now what? Well, wait, can I use that other thing at the workshop now? Is that what that is? Okay, so let me go back. Let me go back to Hunter's Dream because there was a tool, like a workshop bench, that you couldn't use until you had the tool. So that's probably what that is. All right, let's work our way back. See what it does. All right, back at the dream. Welcome home. What is it you desire? All right, but first, well, let me. Ah, uh, let me upgrade something. Um, I've been putting most of my points in endurance and strength for the most part, as you can see. Um, endurance mainly because I want to get more swings when I attack. But I've started to put points in arcane, only because I think the two weapons I use, the holy blade and the blades of mercy. They scale with arcane at some point, so I know this was like my weakest stat, so I've been putting points in that. Mm. I know my attack strength is pretty decent, so yeah, let me just keep building up arcane. Farewell. You know what? Maybe I should have seen what that tool does, because watch it, you know, I come here and it'll be like, oh, look, you can use this thing in order to do this, but it's going to cost you 10,000 echoes. Memorize a Cathar ring too. Oh, so these were the runes are used for. So I can put, I guess, these on weapons or something, or maybe. Let me see. Higher blood vial maximum. Okay, that's that, that's a good secondary one. Quicksilver bullets. No, nah, not using that. Increases defense. Yeah, that's that's definitely what's up. But three percent isn't all that big though. Acquire more echoes. Boost to temporary transformation. Eh, I haven't transformed once, so that's probably something I might do at the later game or even once. If any. Or if at all, not if any. Uh, let me see. Increases defense. Leaning towards either this one or blood bells. Okay, so. Gives me t just one more? Really? Okay, so I'm guessing I can put four, memorize four runes at once. Shit, let me just do all of this then. Oath memory. Alright, that must be something special. Okay, so what did that do? Let me see some. Maybe I gotta put them on my weapons now? And also, let me take off. See, this and this were the two gems that. I was telling you guys about I could take off this you know let me take this off and put what I had on there damn I can make my thrust attack beast with this and my thrust attack already does like tons of damage but now we're gonna put what I had back on there which was this one because that's 2.1 ups my attack by at least like damn near close to 5% Let me see what else I got here before I just choose that. I want to put this on, but something tells me, like, as you had a couple items in Dark Souls, and Dark Souls 2, that, that, that healed you like this. And, like, it was like the heal was so low, it wasn't even worth using, you know? 
so that's kind of you know pointless to use so I haven't even tried that yet alright yeah let me put this back on put you back on and then for the blades of mercy debating whether to take this off because I had this on my holy blade before that four and that four and four and that would make it do tons of damage but 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 I put it on this because I figured okay if this is gonna be weak but fast maybe I can make this as strong as my holy blade and, and do and half fast attacks that was my idea with this but I haven't really tested it out against somebody strong though that's that that's the problem mmm yeah let me not touch that just yet I'll wait on that cuz I go I, I want to test that out first you know fight a boss or fight like a you know an enemy that I know takes a few hits of my holy blade to actually see what the damage trade-off is with the blade of mercy but what do I do with these runes like what's the point in clicking on these I don't do I just automatically get the effect is that it because it's not telling me, oh yeah, you know, put them on this weapon. Maybe it's just something I equip and I can swap them out, you know? Let me see. Yeah, because I do see them in the upper right-hand corner of my stats right there. So maybe, you know, maybe I just, you know, turn them on and automatically get the effect. That's probably what it is. Alright. I know I got most of them by either finding them or killing people, so... I probably got to kill more people. All right, since uh, Hemwick Lane is done, I have no idea where to go now. I mean, I really don't. Because I beat the other boss. Defeated the boss that I thought was the way to go and then came here, so... Now i got to figure out where to go. I'm at a complete loss. I explored Old Yarnum. I don't remember an exit being there. You just got to a boss room and that's where that stopped. Cathedral. Wasn't nothing there. Went through all that. Opened the lock gate. Went up there. Fought that boss. What's the Church of the Good Chalice? Oh, that's the, that's the boss fight at the end of Old Yarnum. Um... Which is a boat? Oh, that, that that's the that's where I just yeah. Let me go back here. I mean, I mean, maybe there's a door or something I didn't see because I have no idea where to go. All right, fellas. It turns out there wasn't any door <laughs> back where I did that last boss fight, so I had to actually go up online at a spoiler free, spoiler free walkthrough uh, to actually figure out where to go next and I th and they said that I have to go to a place called the Forbidden Woods and there is a hidden side entrance in this big courtyard area right here and I'm assuming maybe I missed it but I thought I explored everything in here but I don't remember they said that that guy that I tried to kill before Alfred was there and I think it was right here because they did say that you have to walk by a sleeping giant sleeping giant so I'm guessing that's what this guy is so I completely missed this before hopefully we won't wake him until right here cuz guess what I'm about to do mm hmm you guys guessed it we're about to shove this sword up his ass and down you go didn't really need that but you know all right, and I do have 21, so it looks like... Oh, I hear you up here. Who's up here? That's who I was hearing. Oh, fuck no. No, no, no. Nope, nope, nope. We ain't dealing with him. Fuck him. Shit, I will leave his ass here. Okay, good. He ain't chasing. Because it did say uh, that Alfred was here somewhere, so hopefully... I know I tried to attack him before, so maybe he's probably aggro. <laughs> So we might have to kill him, you know, if he decides to fuck with us, if he's down here. I don't know where he's supposed to be, but I do remember walkthrough said, oh yeah, Alfred's down here, so. 
the hell? That password. Password is open the fucking door. Damn. You must have been waiting there for a long time, bro. Alright. Heading down. Ah, eh, shortcut. Why not? No point in taking the stairs all the way down. Alright, this must be the Forbidden Forest. Yep. Thank you, game, for, you know, confirming my previous thoughts. Don't remember seeing the guy, though, but... I kind of wanted to kill him. <laughs> I might have to go back to actually deal with him. Alright, so there's an item down there. I see the drop-off right here. There's a guy trying to hide right there. So I'm assuming the game, either I can take that way to go around and come down, or, you know, just jump down. So we're going to go around new area so we got to explore everything and not miss anything like you know like the big you know opening you know opening entrance that leads to this area so definitely want to take a look at everything all right that guy's still over there so he'll probably jump out as soon as i get close to that item right there oh it's one of you guys yeah yeah you guys are no threat no more damn let me stop talking shit there we go. Fuck you. Alright, uh, you gonna jump out at me? Yes, you are. Yeah, you know you're gonna pay for that, right? You should have just let me past. Yeah, maybe I should lock on. There we go. Alright, uh, let's see what's back here. Uh, it's kind of hard to figure out which way a path is in this area. Uh, that's one. This is two, because I'm assuming that's progression. So, because I see that big ass, what's that? What's that? A house or no? It's a windmill. Windmill. House. Windmill house. Let's go this way. See what they trying to hide up here. I want all the secrets. Okay, big guy. How you doing today? Okay, guess he's having a bad day. Let's go, bitch. You ain't said shit. Let's go. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Oops. Yep, give me that. Alright, anybody above me that's gonna drop down. I don't trust this game no more. I'm expecting to get jumped at every turn. Bloodstones and more bloodstones. Alright, so that's the only thing that was back here. Alright, off to the windmill. Eh, yeah, that was the item I couldn't get. Because I already got full up on those. Alright, what are we working with? Ah. Uh, don't see nobody. Oh, didn't even see you. Sweet. I just blended right in the, right on into the ground. Alright. That might be the way to go. So let's see if we can go in here. Well, well, look at you trying to hide. Same both of y'all. Door does not open from this side. Alright, so let's see if we can open it from the back. That's a dope. Oh! That's some bullshit. <laughs> that looked like a path. <laughs> ah, well. Well, at least there's a lamplight like, right there, so I'm good.